Okay, so you want to move to the metropolitan Indianapolis area and you're like, Devin, does this area allow golf carts? Because I got a golf cart and I want to bring it here and I love driving it on the street. Please tell me that Indiana, Indianapolis, Marion County, Hamilton County, whatever county it might be, allows golf carts. So did you know, according to, I'm going to put all these links down in the description so that way you can do your own research. Currently, two cities are actively pursuing allowing golf carts. Now, let's talk about the Indiana Code right now. It says 2023 Indiana Code Title IX Motor Vehicles, Article 21, Traffic Regulations, Accordance, Ordinances Regarding Use of Golf Carts on Highway. So it says a city, county, or town may adopt by ordinance traffic regulations concerning the use of golf carts or off-road vehicles, or both on a highway under the jurisdiction of the city, town, or county. An ordinance adopted under this may not conflict with or duplicate another state law. So once again, go out there. I'm going to put the link down there so that way you can read it. Now, these two cities, get this, these two cities, let's talk about this, are Speedway, Indiana and Westfield, Indiana. Speedway, Indiana, as you know, is of the Indianapolis 500, the home of the 500, the capital of the racing world. Um, so they are pursuing that, and I really think this is a good thing for Speedway, Indiana, and also Westfield, Indiana. Two different geographical locations, uh, Speedway being on the west side of Marion County with Westfield is up on the north part of Hamilton County. So let's talk about each one of them. Let's look at Speedway, Indiana. Once again, I'm going to put the link down there so that way you can do your own research. It says that right now they're basically exploring this as an exploratory committee. Uh, it says down here, it says many towns and committees allow their citizens to use golf carts to get around their neighborhoods, said council President Jason DeLise, I believe it's DeLise, allowing for such movement in town may benefit Speedway. It's certainly worth the consideration. We believe this consideration process could include resident ownership in the format and an exploratory committee. Now, like I said, I don't know exactly what they're talk talking about, but it's an exploratory committee right now. There is no timeline or anticipated date of approval has been established by the town. It is, it is currently in the exploratory phase of this considered ordinance. Now, I have actually talked to some residents in the area. They're all for this. There's no reason to ha not have allowed golf carts on the streets of Speedway, Indiana. It would just bring in more attention, I believe, more attention and a more diverse type of um, resident in that area. So it's a racing capital. It is the, the residents there, there are all about racing. Now, a lot of the homes, you have, there really isn't any ability to, let's say this correct, ability to bike or walk unless you're crossing a major street. Now, my, my opinion here is I believe this would be a good thing because north of Crossville Road, there's a, a good section of homes through there that they could roll up to the stoplights, cross over on the crosswalks, and then there's a, a trail path that goes right along Crawfordsville Road and then connects to Main Street Speedway. And then I believe those carts will be allowed to roam all over there. Now, you know, of course, if you're coming from another state, you have to abide by Indiana law. I believe the, these golf carts are going to be required to have, you know, turn signals, headlights, taillights, safety triangles, uh, windshield. I believe they're all going to be that. They're going to be required to have that. They'll probably have to go through some kind of inspection with the town of Speedway. And these are just my ideas jumping out there because coming from up you know, being around, visit down in Florida a lot, sold real estate down there in 21. I see a lot of golf carts and some of those golf carts are pretty pimped up. 
Now, according to Indiana statute, it also, you have to be 16 years old. You must have a learner's or a learner's permit or a driver's license to be able to drive a golf cart. Now, there are communities around Marion County and the surrounded Donut County in the metropolitan area that do allow golf carts in those areas because they're governed by the HOA. So it's something you want to think about before you decide to come into metropolitan Indianapolis and you want to move here with your golf cart and you're like, ah, you know, golf cart's my life. Well, you might really want to do your research. And these are two towns right here, like as town cities of Speedway, Indiana and Westfield, Indiana that are actively pursuing this. So let's jump on over to Westfield here. And let me get this popped up here so that way you can get this information about what's going on in Westfield. So it says here in Westfield that Mayor Scott Willis has a long list of ideas for the future of Westfield. And all these ideas that I, he has presented, I am all for. It's really going to make that area up there on northern Hamilton County. Boom. It it's borders uh, Carmel, Indiana. And if you're not able to find a property in Carmel, you go up to Westfield. And Westfield, I personally believe, has a great infrastructure. They're building that up. There's more stuff that's going to be going on in that area along with, uh, you know, their schools. It's all around Grand Park. I was just up there the other day going around Grand Park and there's so many communities being built, so much activity in that area. And right along 32 west of 31, there's a grocery stores being built. There's restaurants coming in and it just keeps on spreading to the west. So that's a great corridor right there. A lot of activity in that area. So according to what Scott Willis, Mayor Scott Willis says, the vision is our entire trail system, other than the Monon Trail, will open up to golf carts. Willis said during a town hall meeting at Westfield Washington Public Library on June 20th of 24. The city's golf cart ordinance permits golf carts under specific conditions. In addition to required safety equipment, like I was referring to, golf carts are only permitted on roads with speed limits of 25 or less and can only be operated by a licensed driver 16 or older. So we just talked about that. Uh, Speed limits of 25 or less usually are in a community. If you're out on a main road in the Westfield area, whether it's on 32 or any secondary roads on 191st Street, 161st Street, or whatever it might be, that's a 40 mile an hour speed limit. So those golf carts are not permitted to be on there. So we're talking isolated to communities. Now up in that area is Chatham Hills. You will also find that uh, it's a great golf course community there. And I've seen a lot of golf carts roaming in those streets in that area. So around the golf golf courses, you're going to find a lot more um, openness to having golf carts roaming the streets or sideways or bike paths or whatever it might be. And usually those areas that uh, on the sidewalks and stuff are a lot wider than a normal three foot wide sidewalk that you fall, find in an older a residential community, you're going to find these wider four, five, six feet wide sometimes, golf cart paths where people are walking, running or whatever, but that's what they're thinking about allowing them on. Don't quote me on that, but as time progresses and once these get closer, and I believe in 25, they're going to be coming to some kind of a decision on where this ordinance, these ordinances are going to go with the town of Speedway and the town of Westfield. So, that's what's going on. Before you make that move, coming from out of state with your golf cart, make sure that you find out if that community that you are looking to move to allows golf carts or that city or town. So if you need any help figuring that out, right down here, like I said in the description, there's a ton of information about there about doing research of the Indianapolis metropolitan area, the metropolitan Indianapolis area. And then there's a couple links down there. I just talked about Speedway and Westfield. Do your due diligence if you're looking to move into this area. And also you'll get the Indiana code for golf carts uh, according to the, the actual statute or ordinance right now, the ordinance regarding use of golf carts on highways. So, Get that. Now, listen, if you need any information as far as 
a good community to move to, or you're saying, hey, Devin, you know, I'm thinking about up there in Westfield. I don't know the area because I'm wanting to move in from out of state. And uh, can you tell me a little bit about it? Can you supply me some information? Can you tell me about where certain price points are for, you know, three bedroom, two bedroom, uh, three, be- three bedroom, two bath, four bedroom, two bath, two, three bath, whatever it might be. You know, what kind of communities are up there? And if you need any help, I'm glad to be able to help you out if you're looking to move, whether it's nine days or 90 days. I've got people who are calling me up, texting me, emailing me, say, hey, Devin, you know, I need somebody to help represent me, purchase a home in the area. Can you help me out? So once again, all my all the information that you need, whether it's these links or reaching out and contacting me, you'll find all that down in the description. So hopefully this information will help you out and... Hey, I'm all for these golf carts. I really am. I think it's if, if Speedway does this and if Westfield does it, especially Speedway, it's going to adra- dra- attract a lot of younger people in the area and even older people. You know, older people like myself. I'd like to have a pimped out golf cart too, you know, that sits for six people. I just think it'd be a, just a cool way in the summertime just to move around in the area and uh, go out and socialize with other people in the community. You know, as you're driving by, you're waving at them, or they got a golf cart too, and you guys are pulling up and parking, you know, in front of the different restaurants and breweries or whatever it might be. Remember, don't ever drink and drive. Um, So there you go, Speedway and Westfield, the two areas that are actively pursuing allowing golf carts.